It has been an extremely difficult past few days for Elvis Sanchez's family. The 29 year old was hit by a car while crossing 34th Street early Tuesday morning. His mother, Audra Sanchez, says they don't blame the driver who hit her son, but just want closure. Kelby Hayes, Olivia Whitehead visited with that family today, and Olivia, I can imagine that none of this has been easy for them. It's never easy for any family, especially with how close Elvis's family is. Now his mom and siblings tell me he was the life of the party and always had the biggest smile on his face. One thing that really stuck with them was his motto to live life with no regrets, just memories. And he did that until the very end. My brother was the, the party. He, <laughs> you know, you have your class clown. <laughs> he was, the, was clown the class of clown family. He was my little big brother. <laughs> Heavy hearts in the Sanchez family tonight after losing a big part of it. Like a nightmare that you're waking up and it's not true. I mean, it's my phone to call him to see if he would answer. And he didn't because, of course, I had his phone, but, you know, but we're trying hard. Elvis Sanchez was a big family man, leaving behind his mom, three siblings, and four kids. He loved his kids. Uh, he, that's all I can say is he loved his kids. He talked about them. He wishes how he could see them. Leandra, Ethan, JJ, Eli, he loved all of them. Though it's not an easy situation, they know Elvis would want them to be strong. Because I know he's down looking at us and I know he's okay. He's free. Yeah. He's free. And that's what he's always wanted, just to be free. Freedom his family hopes to gain by hearing from the driver. We just want closure, you know, if, if he's, if he's sorry, you know, come, come talk to us, come tell us, you know, we're not judging him or anything like that. Keep your family close. You'll never know when you lose them. Life's too short. Say you love them. Because the last thing I heard from him was, I love you. That's the last thing I heard from him. Now tomorrow there will be a vigil hosted for Elvis at 34th Street and Avenue G where he did pass. Now his family is also asking for prayers and help paying for his funeral expenses. You can go to our website at everythinglubbock.com to donate to their GoFundMe. Terry.